Today is December 1st. This is my FTMO, a demo, trading account. Yesterday, I managed to make a single trade, which was green. Then today, I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine trades. Every one of them was a loser. But if I look here, if I look here, the time is displayed The time is displayed in Greenwich Mean Time, which essentially is irrelevant to my time here. What I would like to do is figure out what time it is <clears throat> so that I can see what made me execute the trade at that moment. So what I did was I installed a indicator and it's called TraderBot Marketplace Local Time Generator. And if I offset it by seven hours, then it gives me the time for me here, which currently, um, so if I look here, here is, <clears throat> Here is GMT time, which is 23.30. Currently, currently, when that is the case, it's 14.29 right now, which is correct. So it's an offset about seven hours from Mountain Standard Time. So if I look here, so I made a trade on Tesla today. So if I look here, so I got in at 21.58. So if I look here, 2158 is right there, which is 1259 uh, MST time, right there. And I bought a sell right there, right? 2158, oh, actually, I, I, I actually bought a buy. And then I sold. So if I were to put a, so if I were to put a line, approximately right here, right? Is that right? It's hard to tell. Okay. All right. So if I look here. So if I look here, that's about 21.58, right there, right there under the candle, right there, okay, right there, 21.58, right there, oh, right there, 21.57, 21.58, right there, 21.58 is right there, okay. So, so right here, 21, right there, 21.58. If I look here, that's 21.58. That's where I bought it. <clears throat> 21.58. And then I sold it at 22.07. 22.07. Where is that? Right here. Right there. So if I look at that trade, I, I bought a buy. But the thing is, it was up and then it started to drop. 
right there. That is an indicator. That's that is an indication that's telling me right here. If I look at right there, twenty one oh seven, twenty one oh seven. Right there. So, okay. If I can so then the question is why did I buy here and why did it fail here and so that's the number one uh, number one uh, fix that I need to figure out okay so when I looked at when I looked at here Essentially, when I looked at here, I have noticed that the trend was going up, bullish, 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 and trend was going up, and and I attempted to ride the trend. Usually, that's usually that causes the issue. And then the trade was actually going in my direction for a while, and then all of a sudden this red candle hit that caused me to cause the stop loss to trigger so how could i have avoided that situation i could have avoided the situation by entering in an area where there is support and resistance and the place that i was entering in based on this it is it was essentially attempting to reach a right here, which is essentially resistance right here based on these lines. Right when I got in, this was actually the box of regions where it actually was a support, which is representing as a uh, resistance. That's resistance, that's resistance based on that area of interest. And so when I got in, I was just asking the market to take my money. That's what That's what that trade turned out to be. So in the future, I had to be, I had to be more aware of the regions where support and resistance is. As you can see right here, the way that it dropped here is the support right there. So if I draw a horizontal line right here, okay, um. All right, so okay, so if if I how do I move that? I need to be able to move it. How do I move that indicator line? How do I move it? Um, Anyway, so this approximately is an area of where the support is, and that's exactly where it dropped to. And it's essentially working out the way that it is supposed to be working out. And so when I got in, in this situation, it's actually in between these areas, and it could do anything it wants to. And it, that's exactly what it did. So I got in here. It reached a resist, uh, resistance level and then dropped and then hit the support area and then bounced back. That was the issue and that's the reason why I uh, lost my trade here. This is a tra trade review of the first loss of sequence of losses that I had. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine consecutive uh, stop loss losses.